Hi and welcome to website design. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to create and also to connect to a database on our web server. So let's go to our web host and see how we will do this. So I'm going to open my um, website um, manager. So here's my website. I have my file manager open here. Under tools, I'm going to go to database manager. Okay. And under database manager, you will see that there's my databases and there's no current database at the moment. Okay. So what I suggest as well is when you do um, a database, also keep a text file handy to go and store your um, database name, username, and also passwords like this, for instance. Keep this always handy, make a file like this, because you, you sometimes forget what's your database um, name or password. Okay, just to keep track of everything. Okay, so back to our uh, manage database screen here. I'm going to click on new database. My database name will be um, demo website, demo website database. So this will be my demo website database. The username will be Tony and I will create the password Star, star, star. Okay, so you need to have a very good password here. As you can see, it must be longer than 12 characters, um, uppercase, lowercase, and special. So I've created just to make sure P A S S word one, two, three, star, star, star. Okay, so I'm going to create my database. And you need that password to connect to the database. So remember that password, go and save it as well. Okay, so now we've got our database. There's the database name, database user, database host, this local host, and it's actually busy creating the database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open brackets. Okay, so in brackets, I've got my index.php file open here. And then inside this index.php file, I will now establish a connection between my database, okay, my database and my um, PHP file. So let's start. Now, how I, how I will do this, I will start by creating a server, server, name and the server name will be local host okay so if we if we remember the server the host is local host okay so local host okay next up our user name our username will be our username I'll copy that just now let's quickly just create the variables I'm gonna create the password oops and also the database name database name okay so what I will do is back to my um, coding here uh, the user is this so I'm gonna copy that okay that will be my username then next up is my password okay and I've got my um, password in that text file so it's PASS word password one two three two three three stars and then my database name this one is a long one database name I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it there so I've got my localhost my username and password and my database name 
then the next step, step is to create a connection the next step is creating a connection so i'm going to create a connection variable and it's going to be new my sql i so this is the new version of my sql okay and what i'm going to do is here i'm going to give my server name as a parameter then my username then my password and then my database name okay so now i've got my connection variable here and then this will try to establish a connection and then i'm going to check what's going on with my connection so i'm going to have a um, if statement to check my connection so i'm going to say con pointing arrow connect error okay so if there is an error okay and then if there's an error what i'm going to do is i'm going to say die and this is just to tell the user that no connection was made so i'm going to say connection failed and then i'm going to add the actual feedback so i'm going to say connection connect error and that will be my connection error on otherwise i will have a echo statement here this will just display something onto my page just for feedback we can remove this when we know that there's a connection so i'm going to say connected successfully okay so what will happen here is if there's no connection we will only get this otherwise they will be connected successfully and we will go on with our website so localhost id password database name we create the connection and we check the connection after that we always need to then also close our connection okay and we will do that afterwards okay so just quickly checking um, everything looks good so what i will do now is go to my file manager i'm going to click on upload Okay, and then what I will do is go to public.html okay and here I will replace now this index.php so I'm going to delete this one and let's go back to my SQL here oh shucks I actually just said uh, we need to close it so let's just close it afterwards here at the end um, so it's the connection and then what we do is we just say close that's how we close our connection okay i'm going to close it there so that all these html files have access to my database okay so now what I will do is I will minimize and then I will go and um, open my file here index and I'm going to upload it here great so let's quickly just open this PHP file and check it's the right one with connection connection 
Great, so we're gonna save and close. What I will do now is I will go to my view website. Okay, connected successfully. Um, and then there's an undefined index page public on page uh, on in index.php on line 14. Okay, let's quickly go back to my um, file here. Let's quickly check on 14. Okay, the, there's apparently a small little mistake here that I can't see at the moment. Um, Oh yes, yeah, it was that mistake of changing um, our page variable. So all you need to go and do is actually change that to, um, let me quickly go and do this. I'm gonna say page is equal to um, my updated index didn't have this. So it's if is set uh, this one, and then I'm going to close the brackets. Okay, and this was just to check it. Okay, so let's quickly run this again. Um, okay, there's still some warnings there, but don't worry about that. We're just worrying about the connected successfully at the moment. Okay, so we could actually go and create a connection to our database, our database uh, manager, database manager. So we created a database inside our um, database manager at my databases and we could then quickly um, connect to it and we could also then um, make a, a successful connection as we stated here connected successfully okay i'm quickly going to check just how to fix that problem oh, there's my problem uh, this updated version oh. This update version didn't have that error there, correct it. Okay, so let's quickly run this again. And there's everything good, connected successfully, home page, about, so we have a connection to our database. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.